little speech before we go on to the march. The Willie Wallace was former president of the Vegan Society, and she created World Vegan Day. She coordinated their film, True It or Dairy, with Benjamin Zephaniah in it. She has also done undercover work in other forms of animal cruelty, and she writes and speaks extensively against violence of any kind, and fights too for the rights of disabled people. She is also a DJ, and she was voted in the top 100 of the world's female DJs. She has recorded a mix of vegan anthems. She will now talk about how veganism is life-enhancing, not difficult, and how being just vegetarian is not enough to end animal cruelty. First of all, I'd, say, I'd like to say thank you very much to Rachel for allowing me to speak. And I'd like to say thank you very much to all of you for coming today. I think this is a really important march, and I hope we have many other marches like this in the future. Um, I won't keep you long. My speech is quite short. Um, I want to say what a great event. Um, and we're all here because we care about farm animals. Being vegetarian. It's just not enough because we are still relying on farm animals for food. Farm animals will only be free when we stop using them for food of any kind. Sadly, veganism suffers from a poor image. Vegans are seen as self sacrificing, hair shirt wearing idealists who lead deprived, difficult and miserable lives. People say things like, oh, I don't know how you do it. I could never be vegan. This drives me nuts and also makes me laugh because it just couldn't be further from the truth. <laughs> I've been vegan for 28 years and I can honestly say it's the best thing, the best decision I ever made in my life. was good for me too. I feel happier, healthier, and I enjoy my food far more than I did before I went vegan. We need to turn on its head the idea that vegans are deprived or missing out. On the contrary, being vegan enhances your life. It makes it better. Sorry. Being vegan enhances your life. It makes it better and not worse, as the common perception is. It certainly makes life a lot less complicated. As a vegetarian, you can drive yourself mad trying to ensure that you only ate free range eggs or vegetarian cheese, as few food manufacturers or restaurants will be using these. For this reason, many vegetarians relax their standards and they eat ordinary cheese, for example, the stuff that you find in supermarkets, restaurants and takeaways, despite the fact that dead calves are used to make this cheese. It's not even vegetarian. The rennet used to make ordinary cheese is obtained from the stomach calves which when you think about it, makes me pretty sick to the stomach as well. Go vegan, I say. It's a lot simpler. I also think it's high time we reclaimed the word vegan. I've noticed that many groups promote vegetarianism rather than <laughs> veganism because they worry it will alienate supporters. I disagree. The more we use the word vegan, the more appealing it will become. All we are doing when we avoid using the word vegan is internalizing all the negative messages and stereotyping that our critics invent to discredit us. We should never be ashamed of who we are and what we stand for, which is non-violence. 
vegetarianism is a red herring. People go vegetarian in the belief that milk and eggs are freely given or humanely produced, but we know that this is a lie. We all want people to go vegan. It's a damn sight easier being vegan than it is an ethical vegetarian. So let's not be afraid to say, look, do yourself a favour, don't bother with the vegetarianism, go vegan. That's what farm animals would say if they could. Thank you.